Hello my soccer universe, it's the rarest of videos, I mean I'm shooting this now Friday evening, so post Saturday morning, um, I have known about it since yesterday evening where a very reputable Austrian news outlet uh, reported already. Ralf Rangnick is the new manager of the Austrian national football team and to be honest I still cannot quite believe it. I have to say on the face of things this is the perfect appointment and I did not believe that the current leadership at the Austrian Football Federation can pull it off, can pull off anything like that. And uh, before I go in any way deeper why I think it's good and you know also a little bit Manchester United uh, perspective thrown in there, I first want to say I have been hugely critical of the Austrian Football Federation and the way it was set up. And I never thought that the current manager, Peter Schöttl, um, can pull this off. I mean, he has been uh, more or less twice failed uh, at whatever he tried after a playing career, which was uh, decent for Austrian uh, uh, in Austria, but you know, not further than that. And it was very much to me that, yeah, the next team uh, chef, as we call it, team chef, in, as we call it in Austria, will be Peter Stöger, uh, which I always said is a coach that can do uh, a lot with little, but does little with a lot. That's more or less the way I would characterize him. I do have to say he is very media savvy. He is like he has this uh, Viennese uh, charm to him. And so it would not be a complete disaster, but it would not bring the, t the national team forward and uh, do what they some three times under folder teased what they could do. Uh, play this high pressing intensity style from the Red Bull school. And uh, that's where I, and the three games were, of course, uh, in the Euro qualification, Poland away, where the team just decided, yeah, we're going to play how we would like to play. And I think they did it already before in North Macedonia. And then Coach Foda with successive um, uh, exchanges made the team more and more defensive that they please don't go so all out, out, out attacking when you actually you needed to get that friggin win more or less. Uh, and then it was teased also, of course, uh, in the game against Ukraine at the Euros and for the second half against Italy. So, you know, uh, four, four games, but over three. This is what the team wants to play. Those are pressing machines that grew up under the Red, Red Bull style. And who developed that very much style, that very style? Ralf Rangnick. He was hired in 2012 by the Red Bull Empire uh, to oversee the development of of their entire, uh, you know, whatever you want to say about the entire um, academy, from the academy to each team, have a philosophy. And this has been reaping dividends for them. You, you might think about the RB as a Red Bull as much as you want, but I have to tell you, uh, what Ralf Rangnick built there is an amazing project. And now the Austrian national team is filled with players that very much know this system and what to do and play attacking football, play intense, play going forward. And for that reason, to go back, to be able to get Ralf Rangnick, the, the guy who uh, kind of built this whole thing, it just seems to be the perfect fit uh, in many regards. And I'm super excited about that uh, because I think all the other candidates, and when it was Vladimir Petkovic was another one, the former Swiss national team coach, not sure if this would have worked in the same style. And I say Peter Stöger, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't have, have been a complete disaster, but I think uh, there, uh, he's no Ralf Rangnick. <laughs> he's no Ralf Rangnick. And now, uh, of course, if you're a United fan or if you only just take his half a year, uh, his disastrous half a year at Manchester United, of course, you're saying, uh, why are you so, so, so excited about it? I honestly think while I was really excited for Manchester United to get Ralf Rangnick at the beginning, it was also for me always the question, will he be able to implement his style? Because if Ralf Rangnick plays his style, those teams are very exciting to watch. Ask any fan of Schalke 
who still adore him uh, in the 2000s. Um, I saw the first at Ulm. Uh, then, you know, Hoffenheim played very exciting. Yes, plastic team. But uh, if he has full control over stuff, this guy is amazing. And this is where uh, I have to say it, I never felt comfortable. I wouldn't have wanted him as a Milan coach. Although Milan were go, are moving in this in this uh, similar direction, but didn't necessarily want to have have, have him as a Milan coach because I think a spotlight was too bright for him there. And same thing goes for Manchester United. But I thought that this Manchester United needs someone who gives them a direction. The problem is that uh, he likes young, moldable players. Now at the Austrian national team, he doesn't necessarily have young. Only young multiple players. I'm thinking about especially about um, Arnautovic and Alaba. I, I think they will be on board in no time because all the other players that this team has is just, it's just a, 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 the perfect match in that sense. And I also my my only worry is that of course he keeps his. Job in Manchester United, which uh, was, of course, a big part of the Austrian Football Federation being able to hire him because financially they cannot uh, make, a, they cannot buy out Ralf Rangnick. That's not possible. So he will get his seller from Manchester United. And if you're a United fan, yeah, I'm not sure if I would feel happy about that as well. On the other side, um, you know, you have uh, Eric Ten Hag already went there and I have not even said much about uh, that. But, you know, uh, if Ralf Rangnick is at, you, at the base of building something for you, I think you have, a, you have the foundation of something really, really good, honestly. So uh, I will not, yes, he's quirky uh, as a coach, and I think um, he's maybe uh, too honest for uh, his own good. But yeah, I think he was a little bit set up to fail at Manchester United in many ways. And I heard today a few re re reactions, get him out of there, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> you know, don't take it. It's half a year and he came into a bad situation. And who knows, maybe Manchester United will terminate his contract in any way. Now, um, what comes to mind, the last time that Austria hired a big name coach was, of course, in 2008 when they got Karel Brückner. And I think half a year later, he was history because it was just a disaster in the uh, waking because he didn't want to live in Vienna. Uh, he came from a Czech Republic and yeah, 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 win against France. But other than that was not uh, going well. Uh, Ralf Rang at least has something in Austria and as a national team coach, you know, um, it is really to the point where you don't need to be that present anymore. But uh, of course, his quirkiness is the one thing that has me a teeny bit worried. However, uh, the fun stuff is for me uh, how the Austrian Football Federation is how hard again because they were not even thinking about him. It's just that the, the sporting director, Christoph Freund from Salzburg, basically. Um, is in contact with Peter Schöttl and they basically, you know, you can uh, ask also Ralf Rangnick and Ralf Rangnick was really excited by the prospect of working with these players, players that are in his mold. As I said, he was really excited. On top of that, the next year is played where? In Germany, his home country. Taking Austria there and doing something there would be great. I also like that the contract at the moment is only now uh, until the end of Euro qual qualification. And then if this is successfully extends till the end of the next World Cup qualification. I honestly think this is the jolt in the arm that the Austrian Football Federation needed. And I said it to friends uh, yesterday. To me, this is almost like the blind chicken finding a piece of corn. It ca I cannot describe it to you any other way. I really cannot. It is just, it, and, and it ticks all the boxes because uh, they would never have gone for a Ralf Rangnick type coach, but one that doesn't have a reputation yet because um, any other coach that is in his mold, uh, they could not finance for sure. So getting Ralf Rangnick was just, uh, it, it, it's just, just one in a million in many, many ways. I don't know if it will be successful. But I think there are the right pointers there, and that makes me rather excited about it. Uh, it will be not the boring style of play. Now with restrictions, I think this will also lead to full state stadiums. I, I, every, the, the country here is buzzing. The country here is buzzing over this appointment. This is an absolute sensation. 
Um, now, of course, uh, the next talk, talk is, uh, would he be willing to also look at the general setup of the Austrian Football Federation, kind of building it, uh, youth teams and so on? Can we do something there? Um, at, which they have not discussed yet, but uh, Peter Schöttl or, or, or said he would be very welcome to get his opinion on that one as well. This is an appointment I cannot tell you. Uh, while I've been rather down on the Austrian na the national team, this is what I needed. I needed this spark. I didn't think it was coming. I hear, of course, reactions from former national team players. Namely, the 78th generation around Hans Krankel. And Hans Krankel himself said, Nah, he would have had an a, a Austrian coach. Why do we have for the third time in a row a uh, um, um, foreign coach? Look at Switzerland. How they did it with uh, hiring a Roy Hodgson and, and, and so on. And, you know, how, the less you think about Hans Krankel, the better. I really think this is a, a stroke of genius. And if this works... Austria will return to the top 10 teams in Europe. If this works, if this really can, can, can work, and you know, the team takes to Ralf Rangel, gets to his uh, ideas, he is not too quirky, and so on. I think if this really works, this will be sensational, at least for an Austrian football fan. And so, yeah, um, why does he want to leave United for an Austrian football team? Because he has the players already there this team is ready made for him as simple as that so and so yeah this austrian here for once is really really excited and i'm looking forward to making more positive reviews on the austrian national football team for sure and yeah take it from there i really would like to hear your opinion on this topic uh give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel and see more and i will talk to you soon bye Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay up to with everything that happens in my Sofa universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.